You know, unfortunately, Coach Carroll wasn't here tonight to hear all the wonderful things that his son just said and to accept all the great sentiment, but there is a coach here tonight who is very, very much loved and who happily is here to be honored and so that he can hear firsthand about what a great guy and what a wonderful influence he's been on so many young people. He, of course, is Coach Tom Lamb. Coach, Coach Lamb was the head football coach and math teacher at Natick High from 1975 to 1990. He also coached track, baseball, softball, and basketball. He returned to Natick in 2000 as athletic director and head football coach. He is the recipient of multiple Boston Globe, Boston Herald, and Boston Gridiron Coaching Awards. The New England Patriots Coach of the Week for his 200th football win versus Wellesley. The recipient of the Natick Center Association Heart of the Community Award and the MIAA John E. Young Award in this year, 2010. Five trips to the Super Bowl, three wins, Melrose in 1982, Peabody in 1983, and Foxborough in 2005. And Tom was inducted into the Massachusetts High School Coaches Hall of Fame in 1990. And if you talk to any student who had him either on the field or in an arena or in a classroom, they smile with warmth and love when you mention Coach Tom Lamb, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Susan. Uh, to all of you here tonight, I, it is a long night, and I'll try to be brief here. I, um, I think I really feel an extra burden in being the coach that is here tonight and able to speak from a coach's perspective on the evening. And therefore, I'm going to be thanking everyone that help us coaches do what we do. Um, if we've had some success, um, it's because of all those people around us. So let me jump into that quickly. And um, first of all, Susan, thank you very much. As you know, she is such a shining star in this community for her excellence and for her personality. And as she just won, as you, I'm not sure you all know, she just won the uh, Shining Light Award uh, this past year. And, and very much deserved. She's very, very special to this community. Um, congratulations to all the recipients. What a fantastic group, wow. Um, the only thing, uh, the, the next step is, can you imagine next year's group? Uh, <laughs> unbelievable, and uh, it, it's, it's uh, what a fantastic night. I, I want to uh, thank the Hall of Fame committee on my behalf, for sure. But I also know because so much of it happened in my office up at the high school, this staff uh, in and out and working so hard and staying after hours and uh, just a tremendous, tremendous amount of work. And even more than that, I, I wanna give them credit for having the guts to do this because their concern, we've had concern and, and a desire to do this for a number of years, but we had so much history that many people were afraid to take it on because of the fact that every we'd have to have 100 people in the first night to do it the right way. And they said, we're going to do it. Uh, let's do it. Let's step forward. Uh, we're the home of champions. Let's do it right. So committee, it wasn't easy, but congratulations. <laughs> I, on my own behalf, again, uh, the group I have with me at my table, I'd like to thank very much and introduce you to. I'm very proud that they're here tonight. Um, first of all, I, I want to do mention our equipment managers, Billy Prasuti and Kirk Bushenfeldt and Bob Galani, who I think is traveling to Greece tonight. What a shame. Um, 
But those guys have helped me so much uh, through the years uh, with football and then AD and, and all that combination that, that uh, is a challenge for us in, in this job. Uh, one guy over in the back of my table here, who I say is a member of our family, when I very first had contact with Mr. Carroll and Natick uh, back in the day, he was the only person I knew from Natick. And he told me he was the principal, the fire chief, uh, the police chief. And he told me, if you take this job, if you don't win, go back up to the Berkshires. And that's very seriously, he was dating. Uh, Shirley lived next to my mother-in-law here up in Adams, and he was the first person I ever knew, and that's Vanjie Sticka. And, um, Vanjie, we, we've had some fun times, and uh, just very, very special person to me uh, for 33 years that we've been in, in Natick. Um, you're a good man. Um, also, I'd like to introduce over at the table my mother-in-law, uh, Rachel Bongelotti, who is, uh, my wife and I have been together since we were 13 years old, and I'll be 62 next week, so that's been a little while. But, so my mother-in-law, Rachel Bongelotti, my mother-in-law, Rachel Bongelotti, has been a supporter of me for a long, right since uh, junior high school. She's 92 years old, and she's unbelievable. Uh, so thank you, Mime, for all. Sitting next to her on either side, her son Lee, who was one of my teammates in high school, uh, is an outstanding football player and has been a tremendous support for me. His son Dan, right next to Mime, and Kate, daughter Kate Bongelotti, both of them have been great supporters of me and were fine athletes at Bentley College. Thank you for coming, both of you. Outstanding job. I'd like to introduce, I think you all know Joel, our son, and his wife Ainsley are, are right down in front here. Joel's been a part of an awful lot of those wins that we've had out here and has been a Natick athlete and had the pleasure of playing with Mr. Carroll and got to watch Blaine. You know, so many athletes here looked up to someone at the next levels, looking up to Walter or, or John Melchiori, as Blaine said, and Joel talking about watching Blaine when he was 10 years old. and. Uh, we have such a great tradition with that, and uh, it, it's wonderful to have my, my uh, son and daughter-in-law here. Joel is coaching at Harvard, and just a year ago was receiving the Gridiron Club uh, assistant, Division I Assistant Coach of the Year Award from Timmy Whalen Sr. that was running that Gridiron Club down there. And Ainsley, my daughter-in-law, is the head field hockey coach at Boston College, and just a, month, a little while ago received the ECAC Coach of the Year uh, in, in uh, New England, so uh, they've had good years. It's, it's been a good year. It's been a good year in the Lamb family. Uh, and there's one other character down here in front. Uh, our wives, when we're coaches, as all of you know out there, um, share a real burden with us of dealing with all that we have to deal with. and. Um, just a very special person. As they say, we've been together, we're best friends. We've been together since we were 13 in junior high school. Um, we've been, we'll be married 41 years and a little uh, in June um, uh, <laughs> 21st. Uh, but she's very special. Back in the, when, when we were 17 years old and I had my first coaching job, I was coaching a Babe Ruth baseball team and it was actually, we had to drive a little ways to our games and we used to both take cars. She would jump in and drive her car and drive the team and I would drive, well, for some reason, the 17-year-old blonde would get 10 of the team and I'd get three. And when I saw the guys a little later, I said, what's up with that? And they said, coach, you always, what do you think, 17-year-old? Come on, give us a break. The guys got the short straw that had to ride with you all the time. But uh, it was very special and she's always been, uh, my supporter and um, just the best person in the world and very strong person and uh, as you know Natick is a very passionate town and that first year when I was coaching and the guy and I was a real rookie and those guys on the top shelf were throwing tomatoes and saying bring who's the next guy uh, <laughs> she dealt with that like wives do and uh, just very special thank you very much I'd also 
Also, quickly, I'd like to mention my mom and dad. We lost my mom this past football season at 82, and uh, dad is at 82 and is doing pretty well, but is up in the Berkshires tonight and wanted to come down. But uh, I know he's proud, and I know mom up there is very proud of her son uh, tonight. She loved Natick, and uh, uh, mom, I wish you were here. Uh, Thank you to all of our coaches. Uh, we've had guys, you know that, all these fantastic coaches I've had. If you're a football coach, you're assistants. That's what it's about. And we've had some fantastic assistants. Uh, I mean, I, I, geez, I don't want to go into naming them because we'll miss somebody. I mean, I'm thinking of Bob Galani and Joe Kiley and Mort over here. Who's, uh, Mark Mortarelli is going to be our new football coach. Mort, stand up over there, Mort. Uh, I think of all the fantastic players. Thank you, players, for all, all so many we've had. Just unbelievable. Uh, some very, very special people. It was great to see so many of them tonight. Um, all, all the different guys we've had. And I've been here in two regimes. I went off and coached in college for a few years in the middle. Went off to the circus until we decided that was, uh, that was enough. Let's get back to where you belong. And uh, the players, just fantastic. Matter of fact, if you don't mind, I'd like all the players and coaches that have worked with us together in this thing, could you all stand up? I think there are quite a few here. Come on, coaches and players. Thank you to all you guys. All, you, all of you, thank you. It's very special. I thank Mr. Carroll. Um, Mrs. Carroll's here and John and Blaine and um, that sitting at our table over here and Mr. Carroll was as special to me as he was to all of you. I can remember when I first came in the door and I was actually teaching before I was coaching football and he handed me a book and said you're the indoor track coach and I said coach I, I've never been to a track meet. He said you'll be fine just read this you'll be fine <laughs> and uh, we, we won the league and uh, thanks to Don Burnham and, and guys that knew what they were doing but uh, that was Mr. Carroll, as we all know. And lo and behold, I didn't realize he was testing me out because the football job was open the next fall, and I ended up getting that. So I didn't know my whole career rested on that track team success right there. Um, I also want to mention a couple other people, Steve Ryder from Framingham and Dr. Gail Cosgrove, uh, a Natick guy who actually was on the school committee in Natick and worked at Framingham State and actually ended up getting me over here and, and Steve Ryder brought us down from the Berkshires originally when we first started working at Framingham State College. Um, I thank the town of Natick, it was mentioned, for just being so special. Uh, just a, a fantastic place. I think of Mr. Hughes, our principal now, and Ms. Bertucci over there, our new principal. Ms. Bertucci, raise your hand next year. <laughs> Margaret Boudreau is next to her, is one of our new vice principals next year. Um, some very special people, very, as we all know, a very special time. I want to thank Paul Peters and, and Jim Connolly for, uh, I was working in Norwood, as some of you know that story, and uh, they came back and said, you need to be back in Natick, and, and this one down in front said, you need to be back in Natick, and when she says that, we're back in Natick. It's <laughs> uh, the way it works. I also want to thank, the, I mentioned a few names real quickly here down near the end, but Jerry Hartwell and Eddie Carr and the junior Redmond, uh, I think of Jim Webb and Dave Lamont uh, in another regime that were fantastic with all of our people and um, Joe Giuliani and Peter Mundy and uh, those people that have helped so much with all we've done in, uh, here in the town. So I, I leave you real quickly with just that I'm the luckiest coach in the world to have been here in Natick, to have cut my teeth here in Natick with Mr. Carroll, then have a chance to go off. I still remember the time the guy, college guy, came down the math wing and the S wing upstairs and uh, Barry Gallup, who had been coaching at BC, and uh, he'd been recruiting a lot of our kids, including Doug and Darren, and he came down the hallway, peeked in my math classroom, and uh, I went out and said, Barry, who are you here to see? And he said, I'm after you. And I said, uh, what does that mean? And he said, well, I want you to come and coach in college with me. And we ended up doing that at that time for a few years. And it was, as I say, it was fantastic being off in the circus. These two down here are in that now, Joel and Ainsley. Uh, it was great, but uh, I, my point being, how lucky can a person be to get back into Natick as athletic director and football coach? 
I am just so, so lucky to have been able to go off to the circus and get back here. And, and uh, thank you very much for all you've done for me. And I hope maybe I've been able to put a little spot on that collage that is the whole Natick uh, athletic program. It's a very, Carol Lowenstein, one of Mr. Carol's friends and Dick Clasby's friends here down front sitting next to me said, wow, what an enthusiastic crowd. And that's because this place is special. Uh, so thank you very much. Uh, what a fantastic night. Uh, great job, committee. And uh, stop up to the high school and see these games now. We've got some good teams this spring. Let's go. Thank you, everybody.